Hello, my name is Terry Case, Chair of the Products Committee for the Society of Vascular Ultrasound, or SVU. As our membership grows and new applications for vascular testing emerge, we receive numerous requests from sonographers from all over the country for our vascular technology professional performance guidelines. These guidelines represent the minimal essential elements of performance as recommended by the SVU. While they are not designed to replace internally generated laboratory specific protocols, they do serve as a basis for developing or updating laboratory procedures. They also serve as an excellent source for laboratory accreditation. This year, thanks to a grant from GE Ultrasound, the SVU has further developed each of these written guidelines into a more comprehensive DVD. In addition to providing the standard guidelines, this unique education program features presentations by some of the profession's most notable educators. Presentations include an overview of related anatomy, physiology, pathophysiology, performance guidelines, suggested protocols, and pitfalls that may be encountered. SVU CME will be granted on an hour-for-hour -hour basis. We plan to complete four initial products in time for the 31st annual meeting of the Society of Vascular Ultrasound in June of 2008. These products will include extracranial cerebral vascular duplex ultrasound evaluation, lower extremity venous duplex evaluation, lower extremity arterial segmental physiologic evaluation, and screening for abdominal aortic aneurysms. So let's have a look. For this exam, the patient will be lying in the supine position with their head and neck placed in a manner that allows the sonographer maximum access to the vessels being examined. In some instances, due to the immobility of the patient, the sonographer may elect to examine the patient sitting in a chair. The patient assessment must be completed before the examination is performed. The ECA courses superiorly and anteriorly and contains several branches which feed primarily the thyroid, tongue, tonsils, and ears. And you can see as I'm pointing this out right through here, extending up to the ECA. Because the ECA does not directly perfuse the brain, it is not considered a source of TIA or CVA, even when the disease is present. However, it can become an important source of collateral blood flow in the presence of severe ipsilateral internal carotid artery disease. In rare cases, it can result in symptoms in patients with ipsilateral ICA occlusion and therefore should be carefully evaluated. Consistency of the equipment, transducer, and Doppler angle that is used also has implications in terms of comparison from one study occasion to the next. Using the same parameters on follow-up studies allows for a valid comparison and assessment of the progression of disease in patients with known carotid stenosis. In addition to the use of the 60-degree angle, it is also important for the examiner to be sure to take care to align the cursor angle so that it is parallel to the vessel wall, as incorrect alignment will also result in errors in velocity acquisition. Future topics include physiologic evaluation for thoracic outlet compression syndrome, mesenteric splenic artery duplex imaging, upper extremity venous duplex evaluation, upper extremity vein mapping for peripheral arterial bypass graft or coronary artery bypass graft, renal artery duplex imaging, lower extremity arterial duplex evaluation, upper extremity vein mapping for placement of dialysis access, radial artery assessment for coronary artery bypass, stress testing for cold sensitivity, intracranial cerebral vascular evaluation, transcranial Doppler non-imaging, evaluation of dialysis access, upper extremity arterial duplex evaluation, abdominal aortic iliac duplex evaluation, lower extremity vein mapping, lower extremity venous insufficiency evaluation, and upper extremity arterial segmental physiologic evaluation. As the Society of Vascular Ultrasound continues to grow, so does our commitment to remain the voice of vascular ultrasound. We look forward to the introduction of these valuable educational products and other services to come in the future. For more information about these and other products, please visit our website at www.svunet.org. Thank you.